I'm here to show you how to make a portable hand wash so that you all wash your hands, keep yourself safe. So, you need two buckets. You need one five gallon bucket with a little notch cut in it. You need a second bucket. You need a lid for the bottom bucket. You need about 80 inches of 5 16 line, just clear line. You can buy it at the hardware store. You need a little piece of plastic. It's an old cutting board that was cut about 5 by 8. You need four zip ties. You need a primer bulb that actually is for outboard motors. You can buy that at the auto store, about 17, 18 bucks. You need a piece of 5 16 copper tubing that you bend. This is about 30 inches at the most with a clamp mounted to it. We can assemble it fairly quickly. We'll put this 5 16 on top, move the clamp, this primer bulb has an arrow on it, make sure it goes to where your copper tubing is so that you're pumping the water the right direction. Okay, you take your primer ball, the arrow goes towards the copper. Insert this on here. Put the clamp on it. Tighten the clamp. It's important to get it tight. Otherwise, it'll bleed air and it won't pump. Now we'll put the draw section on. This is what'll go in the bucket. That's tight. Now you'll notice on the bottom of this tube, there's a couple big nuts. That's weight to keep the bottom of this hose in the bucket. Now we're going to mount this, take a couple zip ties, 3 16 holes in the flat disc, Zip ties on, snug them up. Okay, now you've got the primer bulb attached. You've tightened the zip ties. You've trimmed them with a pair of dikes. Now you can drop this in the water in the bottom bucket. Like this. Put that on the ground. Put the lid on. Put the clamp on that. And how you prime it is if you block this, you'll create a suction. Now that you've primed this a few times, you've got running water, little soap, rub it on your hands. And now you can wash your hands. Just like that. For about 25 bucks. That's it. Be safe.